Mega Maestro again with Project Car 1 million. I'm just kidding. Um, as you can see, the BMW that I had before, I sold it already. So that's two 535i. One was an automatic and one was a five speed, um, six speed manual. I sold both of those. I like the, uh, the six speed manual. That was like, you know, one less problem. You don't have to deal with a shaky transmission. So that was really cool. But this, I've always wanted this car and, you know, prayed about it and said, you know, hey, I got it at a good deal. Uh, the suspension was bad. I need to fix that. I need to buy the cover of the junkyard. The suspension was bad. I put some springs on it. And as they say, no pain, no gain. I uh, I was working on this side, and um, you know you have to you have to push the rotor down so you could fit the spring in, and you have to compress the spring with a spring compressor. So what happened is I held onto this, and I put my foot on the rotor. I pushed down, and I pulled a muscle on my lower back, and it was it was very painful. So that put me off for like. I went to work on Monday still because, I mean, you got to work, you know. I was working in pain, but I'm an EMT, you know. I was lift, lifting the stretcher. I was lifting the stretcher, and um, and I, I, I didn't do a lot of lifting because my partner helped me. Um, I was lifting the stretcher, and, um, you know, but I was able to make it. Tuesday, I rested all day, and uh, so... All right. Okay, now back to the video. <laughs> I had to talk to my son real quick. All right, so I had to put the springs in, and um, I hurt my back a little bit. And um, but um, I was able to put the spring in. My neighbors helped me because my wife and my neighbor helped because they had to put a lot of weight on the rotor to put the the, the suspension down so I could fit the spring in. Um, and so thank God that got done. And um, so I rested on Tuesday. I laid on the bed. Um, keep in mind, on Monday I worked. And as an EMT, you have to carry the stretcher. So I did a limited carrying of the stretcher. Um, I let my partner do most of the work. I thank God he was nice enough to do that. And um, I laid in the back of the ambulance almost all day while, while we were not having a patient in the back. And so on Tuesday, I... Uh, um, I laid on the bed all day because of my lower back. My wife massaged it, yada, yada, yada. Because of this, I hurt my lower back. And so Wednesday, I went to work. I felt a little better. My back felt a little better. I still told my partner, hey, just help me out. And um, I did a limited amount of carrying. Because, you know, as an EMT, you got to get out of the ambulance. You have to walk all the time. You have to carry, stretch all the time. I did a limited. And then Thursday came. I felt better. Uh, still having a little pain on my lower back. Um, I had taken care of this on, I think I did this on, um, I don't know, did I do this? I did this on Saturday night last week, this part. I put springs in here because these ones usually have air suspension and I don't like those air suspensions. Those air suspensions are horrid. All right, so I will post the video of when I did the front. It was late at night. It's not a very long video. So this one also had air suspension. I changed it to spring suspension. It's sitting pretty good. Now the, the backs are kind of high because of the springs. So the springs are making it kind of high, but um, we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, this one is uh, sitting okay. Um, I have to kind of check it just to make sure that's okay. But yeah, so this is it. I put the, on Thursday, oh man, I work from 12 p.m. Oh no, not on Thursday. Wait, is it on Thursday? Today is Sunday. Yeah, Thursday, I worked from 12 p.m. is my son going in the shot to 5 p.m. trying to get the spring in and come to find out. Hi, Hezzy. Hi. Come to find out, I had the wrong rope. To come, I, I compress the springs. When you know you, when you compress the springs, you have to then tie it to keep it in the, the compressed state. So I had the wrong rope, so I had to go to Walmart and buy some straps to compress the spring. I hope this tire is on properly. It looks kind of weird. 
So I compressed the springs, um, and um, it worked out. I was able to fit in, but my neighbor, my other neighbor, and my wife had to come and stand on the rotor again. And this time, I was able to do it. There was a lot more room because of how much I compressed the springs. The other side was a little harder. That's the side. The other side is where I, I hurt myself. So the car currently doesn't have any catalytic converters. So I have to... I already bought the catalytic converters. They're already here. And um, I'm going to have them put on, God willing, on Tuesday. So the car is kind of messy, but... I did vacuum. I'm going to have to do the uh, redo of the upholstery for the seat here in front. Just a little work to do. It's a project car, you know. Ah, oh, man, look at that. Daddy, I forgot about this. Daddy, and I threw that away. You hmm. need me to get out of the way. Okay, no problem. So, um, yeah, so that's basically the project I'm working on. So, I'll keep you posted and see how it goes. It's a work in progress. A work in progress. Uh, it's a V8. Let me go ahead and pop the hood here and check this out real quick. All right. Uh, it runs. I'm going to pop the hood and see what's going on in this hood. There's the other project car I'm working on. This is the big bad boy. And um, I have to check. See, I've taken out the air suspension, electricity, and the air hose. Let's take a look and see what's done. I need to, because I think they took off. Let me see. Okay, looks like, okay, that's still have the, okay, good, good, good. That's good. I still have the O2 sensors in there. They took off the catalytic converter. I don't know why. Good thing I bought some. Uh, engine looks good. Um. I love these engines. These are the engines I like to work on because they're not like the new ones that uh, they have like a balance shaft issue and it messes up the engine. These engines are one of the best engines Mercedes has ever made. So I love, I'm going to love working on this engine because this engine is pretty strong. Um, and that's really it. The transmission is doable too. I have my friend, he has a shop. He lets me use his lift. Looks kind of dirty, but it works. It runs. I don't want to turn it on now because it sounds like a monster because the catalytic converters are not on. I have to get those installed when I go to my friend's exhaust shop so we can put it on. All right, guys. Well, that's all for now. I will keep you posted on the project. Take care. Bye-bye.